I will discuss briefly a case presentation about a disorder coming to our diagnosis soon. A 66 years old female patient attended to the outpatient clinic led by her sons and daughters complaining that their mother hoards things in home and screams if anyone moves an item. The patient showed symptoms of depression and during hospitalization she transferred her room into a big store of boxes, bottles, bags and other meaningless items. Patient was depressed and behavior disappeared following third session of ECT. Hoarding. What is hoarding? The hoarding disorder is a prevalence, has a prevalence rate of 2% to 5% and can lead to health code violations, infections, fire, family strain, significant cost to the community and even death. Hoarding defined as acquisition of and inability to discard worthless items through Though they appear to others to have no value, hoarding and saving behavior has been observed in several neuropsychiatric disorders, including schizophrenia, dementia, eating disorder, and mental retardation, as well as in non-clinical populations, but it is most commonly found in patients have OCD. In compulsive hoarding, obsessive compulsive disorder or something else entirely that's one of the questions being considered by the SM5 task force members as they move toward publication of the manuals next edition in many in May 2013 it is recommended the classification of holding disorder as a separate entity the publications includes working diagnostic criteria for compulsive hoarding and mentions several clinical clinicians and self-administered measures that have been developed to reflect these criteria and are widely used in this field. Measure depressive disorder was the most frequent comorbid condition among hoarding disorder patients, also in attention deficit hyperactivity disorder does not appear to be an OCD type. Among the OCD patients, 18 to 42 percent have hoarding and saving compulsions. Compulsive hoarding saving symptoms found in patients who have obsessive compulsive disorder. Compulsive hoarding syndrome to non-hoarding obsessive compulsive disorder patients compared to non-hold to non-hoarding OCD patients hoarders have more severe anxiety, depression, personality disorders, and other symptoms. Genetic and family studies suggest that transient families, and there is evidence that there is a genetic marker on chromosome 4, 5, and 17. For psychiatric intervention, maybe SSRIs can help, trisaccharic antidepressants can help, also, emotional attachment possessions, beliefs about patients, and behavioral avoidance are the techniques used in behavioral cognitive therapy for those patients. Alpiprazole augmentation in two poor inside obsessive compulsive disorder. There are several case reports for the value of alpiprazole in OCDs. Thank you.